Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Those and ones, empaths, these toxic individuals that are involved in your life don't know what they've got until it's gone. I'm telling you now, they don't know what they've got until it's gone. Right? These, these, these toxic individuals that are in your circle, that are affiliated with you, you know, you may have thought they were genuine, you may have thought they were kind, you may have thought they were loyal, but they're nothing but a bunch of backstabbers, right? They're backstabbers, they gossip, they slander, they backbite. And honestly, all of your good qualities you have about yourself, they take it for granted. These are real selfish individuals. Right, this is real selfish individuals, and the thing is, what what hurts the most is, you know, this is so called family members, so called friends, you know, so called colleagues, so called associates, maybe even your romantic partner, maybe even coming from all angles. You're dealing with these parasites, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, they're they're so ungrateful. They don't appreciate you. They don't give you your props. They don't give you your praise that you're due. You know, you, you you do so much for them and you've done so much for them throughout the history of the time that you've been affiliated with them. You've done so much and they just take it and take it for granted. You know, they're just takers. You know, these types of characters, maybe you've got some good people around you too. And that's great. That's wonderful. But a lot of these individuals that affiliate with you, they're opportunists, you know. They see you as an opportunity presenting itself. That's the way they look at it. That's that's their way of that's their analytical side of viewing things, right? They analyze and they see you as an opportunity, you know. And this is just the way they are. They take you for granted, and it's a shame. It's a shame because you may have looked at them as brothers or sisters. You know, or you may have looked at them as your friends or your family or your romantic partner, you know, or a colleague at work or an associate. You may have thought that you had a really strong bond there. And these people were just using you, taking advantage of you. Right. And, you know, it's because of your kindness in your intrinsic nature, you don't wish harm on others. You know, you're very selfless, you're very honest, you're very true, you're very transparent. So these people are going to soon realise if you make the steps, the appropriate measures you put in place to phase them out, if anything, you don't have to go and confront them and tell them they're this, that, the other. You don't have to do none of that at all, you know, but just phase people out, you know, gently phase them out, you know, slowly but surely phase them out, you know, maybe if you used to see them every day. Or they phone your phone every day. You're you're busy. You can say you're doing this. You're doing other things. You're focusing on yourself now. You know, and phase it out. And then <clears throat> a phone call that's every day might turn into every two days. Then it's once a week. Then it's once a month. Then it's never. You know, you can just phase it out with these individuals. They don't des- de- deserve your time and attention. They don't deserve it at all. Right? And it's a shame that there's so many of these parasites. And, you know... Um, I do the narcissism channel, but this I'm not just talking about narcissists here, right? This is there's toxic in general people out there in this world, right? They just got a toxic nature about them. They just got a toxic nature, and they they don't appreciate you, right? They don't appreciate you. So do your best that you can to try and stay away from these types of characters. You know you. Once you figure someone out, you know, there's no point even asking them to change, you know, because a leopard doesn't change his spots or something like that. The saying is, you know, they don't change. They won't change. (coughs) They won't change. Right. They're going to stay ingrained in their same old ways, their same old toxic ways. And this is what they are. Right. This is this is what they're like. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a shame, you know, because you were there for them. You were there for them. You offered them a support. You offered them your loyalty. You offered them your love. You offered them your care. 
you offered them your generosity and they just took it all for granted. Just They just soaked it up, soaked it up, soaked it up, took it all for granted. That's what they did. So, try and eliminate these people from your circles, from your, from your relationships. Try and eliminate these people. They, you know, it's better off being alone than being with a bunch of backstabbing, you know, backbiting, slandering people that gossip about you and stuff like that. When you're backstabbing, they're saying one thing. When, when you're there, you, you know, they pretend to be your best friend. But really they're talking bad behind your back. These people are fakes and snakes. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't need these types of characters around you. Look, maybe this video don't apply to you. And you've got a wonderful family and a wonderful circle. And that's great. That's great. Then this video won't apply to you. You know, and I should have probably said that in the earlier segment. But if you've got wonderful people around you and you've seemed to come across this video, then it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? But there is a lot of people out there that are suffering with toxicity in their immediate circles you know and the thing is is the older you get you start to wake up to this perhaps in your younger years you were kind of blinded to it you think everyone's got your best interests at heart you think people think the way you do but the older you get you start to understand people don't think like you do there's a lot of people with some disturbed minds out there there's a lot of weirdos you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying that these this circle around you or weirdos or, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that if they've got toxic traits where they're taking you for granted, where they're using and abusing you, taking advantage of you, then these people aren't straight. These people are a bit a bit wacko, you know? They're they're a bit disturbed. So try and um cut people away. Try and cut away. It's the best it's the best advice I can say. And I like the word in phasing out, you know, phasing out is appropriate because you don't need to disrupt their spirit, disrupt their heart. You don't need to be like, you're a parasite, you're a toxic individual. I don't want to be around you. You don't need to start an argument. You can just merely act busy. You know, this is a friend, for instance, you know, if they, they call you, oh, I'm busy at the moment. See you later. And you can just do that a few times. Eventually, they'll get the message, you know. It will save you the trouble of confronting them because all they're going to do is be in denial. That's all they're going to do. If you approach them with this with this stuff about they're not appreciating you and stuff, they're even going to say that you're making drama and they're not going to, they, they're going to be in denial, you know. You've seen something. If you're still here in this video, then you've, you've witnessed something with people around you. You know, don't return fire with fire. Don't be toxic back to them. You know, there's no point. You stay true to who you are. You stay true to the way that you operate. And don't let people change you. But just drift away from those, uh, you know, uh, not appreciating you. That are not grateful for you. That aren't showing you the appreciation, paying you your dues, you know. Drift away from those. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one -one session myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the main channel, the Narcissism channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three-day free trial by visiting ZionMembership.com. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.